Hi everyone, my name is Prakash Basran and uh, I have been involved with the uh, Arts of Healings for many many years because I needed to know what makes a person sick, unhealthy. So my whole life study is to know why a person becomes sick. So sickness is out of harmony, we're not living in peaceful, mind and body becomes discordant. So my experience has been that only two feelings such as hurt, fear, will tear your body apart. Especially when the fear is very dormant, which can be under the age of six and prenatal. Prenatal is uh, what the mother goes through when she's carrying the baby and under the age six because the child has not developed the reasoning faculty. He doesn't know how to discriminate, good or bad, not as much. But those dormant experiences, sometimes unknown experiences, they get locked into the mind. And the mind is, is a live, a live entity that we do have as a spiritual beings. We act, live, according to our memory, how it is. So, if it's a good memory, we shall act in a good manner. But if it's a bad memory, our behavior becomes inappropriate. We cannot function normally. Our self-esteem will go down, self-confidence will go down. If the fear is there, we become very introverted. and. When your basic urges are needed to help us to live our life, when they are abnormal or subnormal, our behavior becomes negative. In turn, what the way it is in the mind, the body will take effect. Body is only a shadow of the mind. Any disturbance is in the mind first. So, body will follow and your chemical reaction will take place, which is a makeup of your body. Your electrons and everything will just be out of hay haywire, out of control. So, what is the medical or the society names as dis-ease, dis-ease. And when they recognize that there is something, such as a cancer, tumor, blood pressure, it becomes a disease. So, the medicine will treat the disease, which is, in my understanding, it's a good thing, it's a good idea. But, until you get rid of the cause, you will still be treating symptoms with different chemicals, which I feel doesn't really work the way things are because higher levels of understanding in medical society they have come to conclusion that it is the mind it is the stress within the mind that will reflect itself in the physical so everybody talks about it but they have psychology psychotherapy and psychoanalyst we have everything available to us but sad thing is there's no hospital closed down yet. No institutions are closing down. Nothing is happening. It's not taking effect. But on reverse, we, we're finding more and more problems. To my understanding, you've got to get into the subconscious mind, into the mind, where all the dormant memories are from prenatal, how you were, we were conceived, in what manner we were conceived, did the girl wanted the baby or did the boy wanted the baby? Was the bo boy baby created with harmony, with love, with compassion, which it should be? But if it's not, 
tough luck because the child is going to suffer maybe for the rest of its life. Drug addict, addict alcohol or many other different types of abuse. Self-abuse or it can take on another form, pleasing and we become pleasers. We'll do anything for anybody, maybe the parents, those who reject us. Like mostly in our own East Indian ja, Asian culture, we have a problem. It's the gender acceptance. Uh, not many, percentage-wise, girls are not accepted in the Asian countries. So the boys become the dormant figures. So any offsprings of those rejected girls, the offsprings become rejected. And they'll have inappropriate behaviors. So we're not dealing with one thing. We're not dealing with disease. We are dealing with a, a massive problem which is breaking down our genetics. DNA is being destroyed. Intermarriages and incest problem and rapes problems. These create a big problem in our society. And we need education. How? How to live a life. Instead of looking for God, looking for higher power, the thing is the looking person, the person who is looking for higher power, doesn't know itself is that power. The searcher is being searched. So the whole society, the religious point of view, is kind of, to my understanding, it's collapsing. So the society is being failed. So we have to come to understanding that our memories in our mind has to be harmonized, has to be peaceful. The moment your mind becomes peaceful, our body just follows it. So the point is, we have to get in touch within ourselves. So that's been my goal for the whole of my life in the last 40-45 years which I've been studying and over 30 years in a professional ways. Now I'm retired and I feel I should share uh, this as we go along in a different programs. So thank you so much. <coughs>